to It's a Vibe, your one-stop shop for mental wealth, health, wellness, energy, and fitness. Today, I am so excited for you guys to really get a look into the deeper side of energy and all things brain coherence, body, and chemistry. Today, I have a very special guest for you guys, and I want to introduce Dr. Tara. Hi, how are you? Hi, Shay. I'm so glad to be in your show today. Thank you. For it's very exciting. Yes, I'm so excited to have you because we've been working together for about two years now. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously, energy is so um, something I'm so passionate about, mm-hmm. and uh, as are you. And I would love for you to just kind of explain a little bit more about your background right now so the audience can get a little bit um, kind of dialed in on what it is that you are really versed in. Okay, well, Shay, I got my Bachelor of Science in Psychobiology because I always was interested in how how does the psyche affect the biology and how does the biology affect the psychology? And I did my minor in neuroscience because I always wanted to learn about the brain, how different parts work together, how does it affect our body. And then after that, I graduated from UCLA. I went to chiropractic school. I got my doctorate in chiropractic and then I wasn't done there. I went and I studied functional medicine. I'm still at the Functional Medicine University. I'm still finishing up courses. There's always more to learn about. But what is really interesting is mixing the energy side, which I studied network spinal analysis as my postdoctorate. So it's a special technique of chiropractic that focuses on flowing the energy through the spine. And I combine that with the functional wellness practice, looking at people's chemistry through through their blood markers, looking at their chemistry through their bacteria and their gut through a stool test, and also just doing different tests to see how their body is responding to different foods, to different things that they're taking, and how can we upgrade the body in such a way that everything just works beautifully together. I always tell people, I don't treat disease, but I will help your body just respond better to what's going on in the environment. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And I'm just so excited to kind of depict this a little bit as well. So essentially, there's different states of consciousness where people are at in their journey in their life, right? Right. Okay, so they can be going through things physically, dependent upon um, maybe blocks or traumas or um, things that have happened in their life. Right. And would you say that this type of work works with anyone and everyone? It works with everyone and anyone because we all have a mind. Yeah. So the mind creates all these ripples, Mm -hmm. right? It's like things disturb you. Yeah. And what we want to teach people is how do we live this life by having a calm mind, by tapping into our body, because we always want to control what is outside of us. We want to manipulate what is outside of us so that we're not disturbed. But the truth is we have no control on what is outside of us. So through this work, we teach people how do we tap inside of us and control what is inside so that instead of having those ripples, because the ripples will happen, environment will happen, someone will hurt you, you'll get into a car accident, someone will die. But how do we not create those secondary ripples, which are our thoughts? So through network spinal analysis, which is this unique technique of reading and just tapping into their spine, we teach people how to not have not not to have those secondary ripples, not to have those secondary disturbances when we already have them through life. So because I believe that physiological issues comes from emotional blockages. So when something happens that it disturbs us and we're not able to allow that energy to move through us, it gets stored in our body and it manifest as physical issues. Oh, that is so good. And it's so true. That was my next thing. Normally, you know, from young ages, we do go through things that leave that trauma. And we're, if everything is energy, you have to release certain things in the body or else they eventually come out physically, Absolutely. It, kind of relating out in disease or in traumas or things that are going to happen to somebody. So when you see a client or a patient, you can almost tell right away based off of what their body's doing with where their level of consciousness is at, right? Right. We also have a technology that looks into people's spine, which is really interesting. So we use an electromyography and we can see the the tensional patterns in the muscles. So we can see where people are holding their tension, their traumas essentially in their body. But also by just looking at someone's the way they're holding their body, you can also tell the life that they've had. Mm -hmm. If something had happened to you today, let's say like you know, something disturbed your mind, what happens to you tighten up, you tighten up your muscles. So it's really interesting. We have a technology that we can see that so that we could see the improvement from the first time that they come in until they finish care. But yes, eventually anything that goes through you 
all the emotions that you feel shows up in your face and shows up in your body and shows up in your spine, shows up in your muscles. So you can absolutely tell by just looking at someone if you're, you know, if you really look at someone. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's so amazing about this work because you really find out who you are as a person kind of through it. It's like ebbing and flowing through life. Right. And I found NSA a few years back. I had some pain in my shoulders and I really couldn't hardly move my neck. And I just really didn't believe in the chiropractic way of cracking and harsh movements on my back and my spine. And it really kind of hurt me when I went to just a normal chiropractor when they were doing all the crazy cracking. And I know that there's a certain way and technique that, you know, we have worked together and we do a little cracking, but there's more so like energy centers or points essentially is where you're kind of tapping. Can you right. explain a little bit more? Right. So I just want to point out that getting an adjustment can be really helpful yes. when you really need it, yeah. but it could also make the joint unstable if it's constantly happening. Right. So I wanted to tap into a technique that was a little bit more gentler. And some people don't like an adjustment like yourself. You don't right. like to get cracked. Um, so basically what we go, you can think of it as energy centers, or you can think of it as places where your body has the most amount of receptors. So those parts that we go in, into the spine, which is usually in the sacrum, the bottom of the spine and the top into the neck, you have the most amount of receptors. So by touching those specific points in a very specific manner, it depends on the way your body shows up that day. Because as you know, I usually check your body to see where I have to go. So your body tells me where I need to go. It allows for signals to go from that specific place to your brain and your brain starts to create wellness strategies. So you either start to breathe, which we call it a respiratory wave. It's basically a breath that goes through your spine and it basically helps you to relax and release. And then you also go into something called a somatopsychic wave, which is a spontaneous movement that happened within the spine and within the body that helps the body release the tension that it was holding. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it's so true because when I'm on the table with you, my whole spine just does this like wave. And I almost feel like my body is doing things that my mind can't comprehend. Would you say that's kind of what's happening? Yes, because usually when we go to a therapy session, we are consciously aware of what we're talking about, what kind of traumas are com coming up. But when, when we're doing this work, it's a like body consciousness. So sometimes people cry, sometimes you tear up and you have no idea what you're tearing up but you are releasing a memory that was stored in your body as muscle memory, that you don't have a conscious memory of what happened, but it was something that was released. So just like how you have a muscle memory of you know, riding a bicycle, your body also has a muscle memory of when you are traumatized, especially if it's repetitive. So those traumas create specific patterns in our body and through this work, you're able to release it. And do you notice with certain patients, I know even for me, when I've seen you, I didn't even realize that my mind was actually trying to control certain areas within being on the table. Do you ever find that patients can get caught in certain movements or motions with their body and it's almost like they're in a cycle in their own life pattern Absolutely. also? And then it kind of just keeps showing up in their body and yes. on that table? Yes, going back to that disturbed mind, this mm -hmm. whole technique is really helping the mind to calm down. Mm -hmm. So of course, in the beginning, you're going to go through patterns of your mind still trying to even control your body patterns yeah. until we can create that stillness into the body and until that person is just not in their mind and into their body. And that's what the technique does. Instead of you being in the mind, which most people in the beginning are, then you go tap into your body of being able to direct your breath into different parts of your body. And then tapping into your body, having more body awareness, being more in tune with your body. But that takes time. So most people like yourself are trying to control it in the beginning or are trying to ask the question or trying to analyze it. Right. And then eventually as they advance into care, they learn to just relax and just let their body's consciousness take over and do the work for them. And do you think that, um, I feel like some patients might be like, well, oh, I have to do yoga to go just do something like that. Or like, how long do you, is it before you see a patient really let go and let go of their mind and trying to control on the table or anything and allow their body to do weird movements and roll through whatever it is they need to roll through? Because on the table, like my body will do weird things to the average eye, you know? And I know that there's a lot of uh, network spinal analysis videos that people can go and search and it looks weird to the eye if you're watching it on the table. But a lot of um, actually A-list celebrities now are kind of coming out and 
telling everyone how they've been doing this work for a long time too. And it's interesting how if you just open your mind a little bit, no matter if it looks weird or it's maybe not in mainstream society yet, you can really allow yourself to release certain traumas and energy through non-invasive work. Absolutely. It just it just depends on the person and how much work they've done. But the way I know that they've done the real work is I always ask people, what are your goals? So there is the you know, the first goal is like, I have pain in my body. I don't want to have the pain anymore. Right. The secondary goal is to create some changes in their habits and in their behavior. But the last, like the, the deepest goal is what kind of change do you want to see in your life? Mm -hmm. You know, somebody wants to change their job or they want to change their relationship. Those deep things, when they start to change, that's how I know that the mind is finally calming down and they're able to tap into their body and they're advancing in their care. Yeah. Of course, you can see it in their spine as well, mm -hmm. but it's also it, it really just depends on how deep do you want to go. So the work is, you know, somebody can come and do it for five sessions, they still get the benefits. Right. And for me, it's about lifetime. I don't think I'll ever give up doing the work. It's because there's always a stressors coming in and I always need a way to get the stressors out of my body and yeah. I need an outlet. And this has been my outlet for the past five years. And that's so cool to me because because it really has become my line of what I find so beneficial to me and what I need in my life because it allows me to decompress, get rid of the trauma, whatever stresses are happening. Because no matter what, as humans, we're always ebbing and flowing and you always have stuff coming at you. So you always need to release. Absolutely. So how did you get into the network spinal analysis? Was there a certain thing that happened for you? Well, in chiropractic school, you're supposed to learn about all these different techniques. So we have different teachers and different mentors and different professors come into the to school and they teach about all these different techniques. So I remember I attended a network spinal analysis seminar. And when I saw it, I was like, this is crazy. I'm going to focus on biochemistry because I had a quiz that day. So I'm in the back, just, you know, learning about biochemistry, not paying attention to what's going on. And the teacher just calls my name because I guess he realizes I'm not paying attention. <laughs> and he's like, you, you come up and I, you know, is it okay if I work on your spine? And of course I say, yes. So there was like 300 people, students in the class. I go, I lay on the table and he just touches my neck. And all of a sudden I fear, I feel this energy. I don't know what to, how to explain it, but right. something wells up inside of me. I feel my spine just moving and it comes up and I have the deepest cry of my life in front of 300 people. And I just remember leaving the room. I forgot about my stuff in the room. And just thinking, I never want to do this again. I don't want them to touch me again. I don't know what they did. I, I must have been really stressed about my biochemistry yeah. quiz. <laughs> all in your head, all yes. in your mind. Yes, yeah. all in my mind. So that was two years before I graduated. So I graduated chiropractic school. I am a chiropractor now. I'm working. I'm adjusting people. But I'm feeling um, like this is not my calling. And I'm feeling regret that I went to chiropractic school, that I took all those loans, that I studied so much. And I just feel like this is not for me. So I'm driving in my car from the office back to my house and I'm just sobbing in the car, talking to God, why did I do this? You show me the way. I did this because I wanted to help people, but I don't really feel like this is my calling. I'm not really, you know, the, the fire inside of me is not really burning. Mm -hmm. So I come home and my roommate, she's like, what's going on? And I just, you know, break down more. I cry more and I say, you know, I just feel like this is not my thing. I really need to find my thing. And I just think I went to chiropractic school. I wanted to help people, but I don't really feel like I'm helping people. Yeah. They're coming out with the same subluxations, the same issues in their neck. They get better when I adjust them. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's the same thing. I want to see transformation in them. So she tells me, you know, why don't you look into network spinal analysis? And I'm like, that board again. <laughs> it came up like, again. Yeah, it came That's up again. That's so funny how the universe does that. But I go into my room and I'm reading this book by Dr. Candice Perch. She's a neuroimmunologist. I respect her a lot. It's a book called Everything You Need to Know to Feel Good. Mm -hmm. And literally... I turn the book up and I go into the next page and she talks about her experience with network spinal analysis. <laughs> and I'm telling you, and my, again, my hair, I'm getting chills again as I'm telling you the story. And in that book, she explains it in a neuroscientific way, how she thinks this work this is done. Like, what does the brain do yeah. to create this movement into the spine? And I was like, this is it. This wow. is my calling. So I find a doctor and as soon as I call and I say, hey, I'm interested in being in your intern, he hires me wow. right away. That's how you know. And I started to work there for a year and I just 
it was as if I already had this gift yeah. and it just was just waiting to come out. Wow. It was so easy to learn the work. It was so easy to do the work. It was so easy to understand the energy and tap into because this work is very energetic. You have to yeah. in tune with the person on the table. You have to feel their energy. You have to tap into their field. You have to understand which gateway, which portal do you go into to create the change in their body. So I've been doing it for five years. For the past three years, I've had my own office and it's been absolutely incredible. So as you know, I just had a baby. Congratulations again. Thank you. Yeah. And he's not even two months. I know. And I took time, some time off. So And then I just couldn't be away. So and I the told, one night that you were there was the one night I ended up booking my session. Right. Yeah. Tonight, I mean, of course, after two years, but once you're back. Yes. Crazy. After a month. And I just couldn't be away because this is my gift. This is my passion. I love turning people's spine on. I love to see their spine activated. Yeah. And I love to see the big changes in their life. I love it when they say, I got that new job that I wanted. I created the big change that I wanted. Yes. And that's how I keep my fire inside alive. Oh, I love that. And it's so true. The mind, the heart, the body are all in correlation. And if you're not working on the mind, you have to be working on the heart and the body and the mind all together. I think it's so important that, you know, you said all those things, you were in flow. It happened easily. You got hired and one thing happened and the next thing happened. And when you have that momentum, it's like, you need to follow that. You need to listen to that. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, going back to mental wealth, I like to call it because we're really trying to break the stigma around mental health and let people know that it's okay that your mind is maybe not right. And it's okay to seek help and it's okay to not be okay. And I think that we really need to get the word out about network spinal analysis. So I'm so grateful that you came here today because if you are struggling and you are looking for a different way and you just need some kind of deeper healing that is maybe different from what you've had before, I really challenge and, and invite you to seek it out. Um, contact Dr. Tara as well. She's actually now a part of my team. I'm a life coach and doing chakra work with my clients and it's really exciting. Um, tell everyone a little bit about the assessment that you know my clients go through with you on more the chemistry side versus right. me with the energy side. So the network spinal analysis is the energetic side. It's the body part. It's the body work. It's the somatic work. And then I also love my science. So the other part is looking at people's chemistry through their blood work or their bacteria, through their gut, and figuring out what is it that they need in order for all the different pathways, all the chemistry in the body to work really well. So we have a couple of assessment forms that we have people do. It's one brain assessment form. So we look at different parts of the brain through the questionnaire that they answer to see what is not really working. Is it their memory that's not working? Is it their concentration? Is it that they're not feeling pleasure and happiness in life? Is it because they're not having, they're not feeling motivated in life? Is it their lack of sleep? Is it an issue with the brain and the gut? Because you know that our gut has its own nervous system. Yes. So when that is not working properly, the brain is not working properly. So that's one aspect of it. The other aspect is a metabolic assessment form, which will look at different organs of the body and to see how different organs are working together. And if there is one organ that's not working properly, uh, we are having a massive issue you with thyroid in a lot of women nowadays. So that's something that we work with. Again, I don't treat anybody for their thyroid issues, but I just help their body to function better so that everything can work better. We have a massive issue with autoimmunity now. Everybody, uh, most people have autoimmune issues. We work with that with food sensitivity testing and helping them with an elimination diet to figure out how can we help the body not to fight itself? How can we help the body not to attack itself? Yeah. So through those blood work analysis, we do one in the beginning and one at the end of the program. And it's amazing the changes that we see um, with the network spinal analysis along with the chemistry part that we address. Yeah, I love it. And just seeing people, just their mind, their heart, their whole essence and life change in such big ways in such a short amount of time is pretty astounding and amazing to me, especially because this kind of work that we're doing is not really something that is figure outable by the brain. You know, I feel like everyone's always trying, well, how did that work and why did that happen? And this is very much in flow and in energy. And also, of course, the chemistry side makes way more sense, which is why I'm so grateful to have you a part of my team too. 
<laughs> because I'm more on my spiritual energy side. And then I have Dr. Tara with me as well to help with all of that and the network spinal analysis side. So thank you so much for coming today and sharing your story. I'm so grateful for you and having you a part of my life and my healing. Oh my gosh. And thank you guys so much for joining me on It's a Vibe, your one-stop shop for mental wealth, health, wellness, fitness, energy. Until next week, we will see you guys next time.